remember this, please. Um, whatever they lead you to do whatever they ask you to do whatever they want you to comply with do the opposite please anyway here we go it's being billed as a vital weapon to defeat coronavirus and tonight the government is pleading with you to pick up your phone and download its covid safe tracing app and for anyone worried about their privacy we're promised our data will be secure to keep us all safe. The hard sell has begun. It's vital to know quickly if you've come in contact with someone who has tested positive for coronavirus. As the government rolls out its high... Please turn off your TVs. Throw them, throw them away. Throw them in the bin. Disease detector. No Australian should have any concerns about downloading this app. It is only for one purpose. To recruit mobile phones in the hunt for a virus. It will help us as we seek to return uh, to normal and the Australian way of life. It works through a Bluetooth handshake. Right now, it's the only safe handshake we're allowed to have. Bluetooth connects phones that have the app installed. If they're in close contact for 15 minutes, the numbers are exchanged, encrypted and stored on each phone. That's unless a user gets COVID-19. Then health officials will ask to access the data and trace all the contacts. Downloading the app is voluntary and the government says the information demanded has been stripped to a minimum. Obviously your phone number, your name, uh, your age range and your postcode. There are reasonable concerns. The government needs to work hard to address the very valid privacy and other concerns of the Australian people. Only state health officials will legally be allowed to access the app. All data will be stored in Australia and it will be a crime to export it. The app can be deleted at any time and when the health crisis passes, all the information will be wiped. Probably the safest data that has been provided uh, by any group at any time in Australian history. There are broad endorsements. I'd be happy to download the app. World's best public health system needs your support too. As a doctor, I will be downloading... OK, quick question. Um, there were two different types of coronavirus, quote-unquote, um, so-called coronavirus, uh, happening in China when all this started. Um, there were people that were getting sick and dying. There were other people that were just falling to the ground dead. Two different types. Um, I'm not going to get into uh, the... the the frequencies and and all of that um, we like we, we all know we all know what's going on anyway um, that's not what this is about uh, just a quick question this uh, pandemic is now worldwide the whole planet has shut down um, because of a so-called virus that started in China where people were either getting sick and dying or falling down dead randomly. Um, what's missing? Uh, the rest of the planet, um, why is there no footage of people just falling down dead uh, when it was happening all through China? Um, why are we not seeing uh, corridors filled with uh, sick people um, with flu-like symptoms lining the corridors of the hospitals like we saw in China. Um, yeah, I have my, th I have my theories um, and I'm just putting the questions out there. Um, yeah, don't, don't trust anything, do the opposite to what they say. Um, and I don't think rioting and fighting and rebelling against this um, is a good idea either. That's just my opinion. Uh, that's feeding the fear, that's feeding the anger, that's feeding the negative energy that they want us to create more of um, because the negative energy is, is what the frequencies from um, the 5G... Uh, it can uh, affect us even more. Um, 
I don't, I'm not a scientist, but uh, it's all about low frequencies, low immune systems. Um, yeah, so the way to um, deal with this, uh, the way I see it, um, is to not comply quietly, just not comply quietly. My last video, uh, um, I videotaped uh, my feet <laughs> walking barefoot on the grass. Um, when was the last time uh, you remember doing that? I remember doing that as a child. I was always, I never had shoes on. I was running around in bare feet all the time. Um, and I was at my healthiest. Uh, so, yeah, things like that. And and I didn't have to say a word. Um, yeah, just, just do what you can to stay healthy. Um, the, the natural way and turn inwards and connect with Yeshua um, yeah it's all about the right um, frequency anyway uh, let's watch the rest of this tonight and there are some early signs that it will win broad approval polling from the Australia Institute shows 45% of Australians are willing to download the app the government is targeting a 40% uptake a good uptake uh, in my mind would be well over half the people and I reckon we'll get it the hope is it will be another step on the long road to recovery Chris Yorman, nine news Anyway, be safe out there, guys. Um, sending love and light to all of you, always. See yous.